How's it going YouTube? I trust you all well. Tony Brown here again with another Akai MPC sampling video and in this video I'm going to do an update of a previous video I did about how to sample into the MPC from YouTube, Spotify and other places on your computer. So let's get straight into it. So in the previous video I showed how you can use a little app called Soundflower to get audio from your computer into your MPC. Now I've done that video back in 2016 while using the older version of the MPC software. Well moving forward for a lot of people Soundflower no longer works so we found a alternative solution which is I show you audio capture and this works with the latest version of the MPC software and the most recent operating systems on your Mac. So if you just Google, I show you audio capture and just go to the top option here. And again, as with the other video, I'm not responsible for the software you download. Big disclaimer, if it messes up your computer, it's on you, bro. I can't help you. Um, but this worked for me and it worked fine. I had no bugs. So feel free to use this one or find an alternative. So the first thing you need to do is just download the software and install it onto your system. Now, I'm not going to do that in this example because I've already done it, but just go here, download the software and install it onto your system, follow all the steps. And once it's up and ready, you can move on to the next step. And that next step is to go to your launch pad and go to your audio and MIDI setup. Now, what you're going to need to do is to create a multi output device. Now you can see I've already got one here. Um, but we'll just create another one just to walk you through the process. So I'll just hit the plus button here and go to create multi output device. Hit that. And what this will do is show you all your audio options that you have on your system currently. Now, what you want to do is select I show you audio capture. Boom. And also select your built in output device. Now by doing this, uh, this will allow you to monitor what's coming in when you select I show you audio. So if you just select I show you audio, let's click the drift correction here as well. If you just select this, when you come to sample your audio from your computer, you won't be able to hear it. So you also need to select the built in output. And for me as well, because I use uh, external audio interface. I'm going to select my sound card here. And if you have got other devices that you use for input and output on your system, then feel free to go ahead and select those, but I'm not going to select those. So there we go. We've got all our devices selected. Now we can move on to the next step. So the next step is to go to your Akai MPC preferences. And what you want to do here is to tell your MPC where to draw the audio from. So in this instance, we've selected our input as I show you audio capture. Simple, just select that. Now your output device, this is wherever you're monitoring your audio from. So in this instance, I've currently got it set up to multi output device. It probably also work if I selected my sound card here because that's what my headphones are plugged into. But in this instance, we're going to go to multi output device and press OK. Now, another thing you're probably going to need to do is go to your audio preferences or your sound preferences if you're using a Mac and just select your output as, again, either your sound card or in this instance, again, I'm using multi output device. I'm going to select that and my input. I'm going to select as I show you audio capture. So now we should be all set up and ready to go. So let's just test this quickly. Let's pull up YouTube. There we go. And let's just hit play on a video here. How's it going YouTube? I trust you're all well. So we can hear the audio playing the here. MPC sampling video. Let's turn this, and up. In this video. I just want to and there you show go. you, you can you see can we've now got a signal coming to in to, to the MPC. Off your computer. So if I press so record here, like YouTube and other places like that. So let's get into it real quick. There's a few things you're going to need and first and foremost, Okay, so we can see there we've got some audio. Let's just normalize it. 
and there it is. This is like YouTube and other places like that. This is like this is so there it is, all set up and ready to go. And you're now able to sample from YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music and other places on your computer where you have samples. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, then make sure you give me a big thumbs up, like and subscribe. And if you know someone who's been using the old method and it stopped working for them, then make sure you share this video with them and let them know we're back in business. We can start sampling from YouTube and other sources once again. All the best. God bless and take care.